Capitalism is a phase in humanity. Money is just a phase of humanity. I've been thinking this for a while and I haven't said it out loud on camera. I just said it to a few people. Capitalism exists right now and we're stuck in the cycle of capitalism. And until everyone in the world is using capitalism, we're not going to be able to evolve past capitalism. But that's what's going to happen, is that everyone's going to get onto the system eventually. And when that happens, we're going to move on. And the people that have money are going to maintain their wealth. They're not going to become poor when capitalism evolves. But the money isn't going to be what it is now. The concept of money is changing. Already the concept of money is changing. Money is what brought fame, is what brought notoriety, is what brought us unknowingly thought mass or the, the power to get what you want with your words. Money brought status. Now that's done because there's internet video and you can get status as a poor man with access to a video camera. I guess poor is a relative term. With a, a moderately small amount of money. I have, I come from a moderately, I come from parents that make, that made $40,000 a year, I think, when I was a kid, or 30000 combined. Three kids, and we had a house that they bought for $40,000 in 1980. So that was money. That was a good amount of money. My dad was a fireman. He just retired. I think his official retirement date is May 5th. And my mom didn't work. Money. Sorry, they're talking in the other room right now. It's, it's okay, though. Um, I think that once we lay the foundation, I'm just, I was just reading about Gandhi and about how the poor people in South Africa and the... Uh, or in India and the, the social inequality in South Africa is what really inspired him to get socially active and living in the cities like I've lived in the cities for the last five years New York Chicago and Los Angeles and seeing all the degradation and the homelessness and the poor has affected me in a way that I've never been affected in my life and I see that the, the capitalism being stuck in the cycle of capitalism is it's like taking a shot of adrenaline and you can't keep doing it or you're gonna die it's like it's like we're, we're, we're constantly working the same muscle and it's out of balance because you're gonna have one huge arm and then everything else is gonna be sick everybody needs money and I don't know if that means social distribution of wealth. I think that when we die, our money should be redistributed amongst the population. I don't think money should go to your kids. But then at the same time, I don't think when you die that your money should have to be redistributed. But I think it should be. I don't think that the government should tell you that this is going to be it. It's not a socialist activity, but it's a choice. We can get everyone money. We can spread capitalism throughout the world so that everyone is on an equal playing field so that we can move on past capitalism. And so we will. I am in a place right now where I'm going fucking crazy because I want everything to happen right now. I want what I want. And I'm not satisfied with waiting around for it. I'm not satisfied with waiting 40 years for it. I want it to happen now. But then I believe I have no choice but to wait, but to lay one brick at a time. So we will give people knowledge of capitalism, and with the knowledge of the workings of it, they can become a part of it and understand it and see it for what it is, which is not the answer. It's just a step. These rich people are still miserable because they haven't confronted themselves and I'm, I'm generalizing but I'm saying if you have money you're no more happy you're no more better off than if you don't spiritually it's up to you to confront yourself 
and understand the money and understand the capitalism and understand that having the money is not doing you any good. It's using the money that is what benefits us truly, is using the money on things that help others. We can spread capitalism around the globe and then we can't evolve past it. And so we will.